Hello and welcome back, Virgo. If you're new, welcome in. This is going to be a collective reading for the lovely sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Mercury, wherever you have it in your chart. This is going to be a specific message for some of the Virgo. If you're a rising sign, especially your sun sign and your moon can definitely come in. Um, also, this reading, like I feel, we'll see, it's going to be an intuitive collective read. Yeah, Pisces and Mutable. Nothing is yet set in stone. So Virgo, it's time to get back to the drawing table. Um, your title of your video for this collective read is going to be Assembly is Required. So get your tweezers out, you know, Virgo, get to the magnifying mirror and you're going digging deep right now, right? So it's like get all your tools out, Virgo. Get whatever it is that you know, you know, it's time to put it on a table. Merlin is getting called back during Mercury retrograde. It's gonna go in retrograde in the sign of Gemini, which is air. Mutable energy is here, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, which Pisces also you could be dealing with is mutable. And Sagittarius could be here of significance. Virgo, you, you're mutable. Everything's still up in the air here, okay? It's like you're going to need to make a sacrifice to bring in balancing spirituality and practicality. Right now, things are up in the air. There's no balance here. You have pride and ego coming out. I'm not surprised with where you're going to have this in your eighth house of yourself. How you're seen outside in the world and how you're seen within yourself. How people look at you. So pride and ego. This is uh, going to be Aries energy. So very amping it up because everything's going on in fire signs. This is where Jupiter is going also today. Jupiter enters Aries today and Mercury goes retrograde. Okay, at home in Gemini. And then it's going to have Jupiter moving into Aries. A fiery shift, a new blessing, a boost of taking action here. Ignition is here with Leo. It's going to be your confidence. And like it says, do not let your pride get in the way here, Virgo. So pride and ego. Okay, that's here. We're going to stop right there. A win-win outcome is in the forecast for Moon and Libra. Bring balance back, right, where things are fair and just, right? In an area of here, if somebody here has a lot of pride and ego, there was a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. So it feels like for some of you, with Libra, this is relationships. And now let's just hang on, Gwen, hang on, right? There could be a sense of sex on the brain. I had this written down with all this libido and fire that's coming in, right? Sex on the brain. Um, it feels like the magician, and I wrote this down, gets back to the table. You can be confused, hmm, right? Like I feel right now, things up in the air, and it's time for change. With all the fire energy here, like I feel it could be a lot of, like I feel hot caliente energy for you, Virgo, right now. Now, let's see what else I had for you, Virgo. Oh, your eighth house. I'm not an astrologer yet, but I'm going to feel my way. So there's a sense of this is going to affect like a transformation in your eighth house, which I feel could be like having to do with a a lot of payoffs, there could be inheritance, there could be reaping in the rewards. It also could be paying off debts, okay, loans, a sense of that. Whatever it is, there's going to be a sense of, there goes my hair. There we go. I don't know, Virgo, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see. Okay. Show me, Spirit, what I need to see for the Virgo collection. What time it is around up in here? Virgo Collective. What's coming in from tonight? May 10th. I believe this retrograde period is going to be six to eight weeks because Mercury goes retrograde in shadow period. So the last week could be hectic that you have been going through. Virgo. Virgo. Virgo Collective. Seven. Venus, all signs that are Virgo. 
This reading is for Virgo. Okay, Six of Cups is here, revisiting the past, which retrogrades can be someone from your past is reaching out to you here, or you're reaching out to someone from your past, Virgo. Six of Cups is, there's a lot of memories here. Okay, I feel there's communicating with someone from your past where there's a lot of nostalgia. Knight of Coins, Six of Cups. But things are really not moving in that direction. Okay, there's a sense of slowing down, right? So Mercury retrograde is definitely going to slow you down right now. So it feels like, okay. And then we have Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Long-term investments, always Virgo, always, right? It's always about the wealth, the empire, right? The family. The Ace of Pentacles and the Moon. Are you worried about investing something into this Ace of Pentacles? Something that you're doubting, right? A sense of Moon. Something here where you're feeling insecure, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles. Something you're not, uh, it's like, do I really want to invest in it? I feel like I want to take my time right now, right? Five of Swords, Moon. But literally, there's a fight going on here. Now, this could be... On a mental level, five of swords, but I feel everybody here put down their swords. There's only one man standing here with their swords ready to fight in the moon here, right? The five of swords is this, a feeling of winning at all costs, right? But feeling anxious about it in, in a sense of insecure, living in fear, right? Five of cups. Five of Swords, you're in the ma massive changes. Like Mercury Retrograde is going to ask you to assemble, right? Assembly is needed. It's required here. So it's a time for these changes here. Like I feel coming in to not let pride or ego stand in your way of you making a decision here with Leo energy. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here, okay? And Five of Cups. Somebody here is definitely regretting that they took somebody for granted here. And the Fool, yeah. Wanting to just be carefree. And this is the feeling I was feeling. You could be dealing with an Aries here or an Aquarius. This is Uranus energy. Things are about to take off is what I feel, Virgo, with the Fool card. There's a sense of wanting to be more carefree. Not wanting to be so... Um, caught up in the web of something here, right? Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Hangman, so caught up in the web. Shit. So caught up in this feeling of limbo, right? Feeling stagnant. Feeling stuck, right? Feeling stuck. You just want to let go and surrender, right? You want this carefree kind of an energy of right now. I feel that right now, overall, with this energy, this is the Hangman Pisces and the Full Aries. This is exactly where Jupiter was in Pisces, okay? And now Jupiter's moving to Aries for the next, um, to October. This shift is going to be to October 28th, this shift, okay? A fiery shift here that's happening here. Getting ready to let go and getting ready for a fiery new beginning, getting ready to take action. So ignition is here. And it also feels like it's going to go back into Pisces. So it's going to ricochet and end up back there once again in December. So this is the beginning of a blessing, right? Of letting go and going with the flow. But taking a leap, this doesn't look like you or sound like you, Virgo, right? King of Pentacles, it doesn't look like you. You don't normally do things like this. It feels like whatever this leap is, like I said, you're somebody who's very... Um, practical in your decisions you don't take risk or chances and it's it feels like you are like i feel you're you are you're always keeping a family dynamic going here so you're a father or a mother or a king of pentacles you are in a commitment and here's the scorpio energy getting ready for the death and rebirth and this is where the death and rebirth cycle is going to be the transformation that you're making and it's like you just need to let go and surrender and trust the most high on this, this situation. It feels like whatever resistance was taking place in the past here that you've been in limbo about, right? You did receive enlightenment here. So 
you're trusting in the most high here and you're knowing that there's an ending here and where something needs to end. So whatever this transformation is, it could be in your career, your relationships. It could be yourself because let's see, I mean, for some of you, this is getting freedom. Page of Pentacles, right? You're off to a new start here and it feels like a fresh new beginning. So it feels like Page of Pentacles, there's a, there's a new beginning that's opening up, a new opportunity. This could be a new investment. Like you're taking that first step and you're, you're making an opportunity that's here that you see. So it could be changing your direction in your, in your business, your career sector. All right, things are up in the air. So let's see. Okay. What could be, let's see the hangman that you're getting ready to let go of, eight of wands. This is a big shift for you. This is where things begin to take off. And this is being guided by the most high, the Holy Spirit. You know, these are wands. There's a spiritual enlightenment that's taking place. You're receiving a, a light code, a download in your dream for some of you here. And this is about like taking off, travel, letting go, just letting go. And the King of Pentacles, yeah, and you're taking something here, slow and steady steps towards something here that you want to invest in, okay? So it feels like coming to something that's very genuine, that you're genuinely uh, want to make this opportunity that you want to invest in. Now, this is yourself also is what I feel here. Queen of Wands is here, okay? Something's ending here. If you were dealing with somebody here, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this could have been somebody here like um, uh, a love affair or a mistress. This is ending. There's definitely something that's ending. And it feels like, yeah, Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles. You're going towards something that brings you in emotional satisfaction, fulfillment. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So it feels like whatever this is here, there's a sense of you um, putting an end and letting go of something that I feel you're putting to rest. You're, there's a sense of you putting something to rest. The Nine of Cups is also a sense of, you know what, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. I'm making a change, okay? I'm putting myself first, right? Because you got to put yourself first in something. And something that you've been dragging on about doing, right? because you've been very relaxed and slowly invested in some area of your life here. And it feels like you're getting ready to make a big change here, Virgo, okay? And you're investing in yourself, right? So let's see, okay, yeah, and there's the full card, you know? Huh, okay, let's see, Virgo. What could be the challenge or the obstacle here? Like I feel nothing is yet set in stone, but you're ending something. It feels like, yeah, and here, the root of this reading is the devil. Capricorn energy. You've been in a sense of a karmic, um, toxic connection, okay? It feels like. Whatever this tie was that you were in with the devil, you there was an attachment here. Okay. Page of Cups. And Moon. Oh, my. Yeah, this was something here with the Moon that was hidden. There was a lot of deep, dark secrets here, okay? It feels like at the root of the reading, yep, Six of Swords uh, could be Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. There could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Capricorn here, okay? We do have um, almost all signs. Heavy Scorpio, heavy Pisces in your reading, okay? Whoa, Virgo. Whoa, whatever's at the root of this reading is deep. It's, it's at the root. It's getting dead tweezers out. It's getting back to the table. It's getting really deep down inside. And I felt whatever this is, you're about to move on from it. You're about to put something here. Like I feel there's a sense of something is ending. You're seeing the light in a situation now where you couldn't. The moon was darkness deep with the devil. An attachment, okay? A toxic behavior. Something that gripped you big time with the moon. That caused a lot of fear, okay? And the Page of Cups was like a sense of this page was could have been younger than you. doesn't have to be. But it could be a lot of childhood, okay? D diving deep into your own childhood trauma, right? With this page, okay? Something deep within is going on here at the root. Only you'll know. 
So let's see what the advice is from the Holy Spirit for Virgo. The advice is five of cups. Yeah, a lot of deep regret like I felt here. Pride, ego, a loss. Seven of cups. Yeah, having options here with love. Like I feel getting back. Yeah, to the Six of Swords, finding clarity, okay? There is a loss. There's something that's regretful but necessary to move on from. So there was a karmic sultai here, right? With third-party situations. Whatever hair that I feel was like Seven of Cups, lots of options, confusion, breakup, endings, tower card, right? Mars and Scorpio. This is a huge tower moment. Spirit says it's coming in. It's bringing in karmic justice, right? Something's about to come to um, light. It's about to come to an ending here. Ace of Wands. For some of you here, there was an affair that you had. Could have been all right for some of you. An affair is coming to an ending. A karmic justice is here. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away here. Okay. There's a sense of an ending, a betrayal that's here. Page of Swords. There's definitely somebody that's got their eye on you in a Page of Wands, right? Two people. So it feels like whatever this is, all eyes on you, right? Yep. Wow. This is getting exposed, so is what I feel. Let's see what the outcome of your reading is for me, for the Mercury Retrograde. Okay. Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, and Two of Wands. Yeah, you're very unsure of where you're headed right now. There's a sense of you and whatever decision or choice you're making here. May is bringing a choice of not being sure whether or not to move on, right? Night, the chariot with Cancerian, okay? Make a decision with two of wands could mean travel, okay? To relocate. And four of cups is wanting to move forward on a missed opportunity here, okay? And then Eight of Pentacles. So right now, what I'm feeling is this High Priestess. Yeah, there's a knowing, right? There's an inner knowing here that you're being revealed that's coming coming in. Something about that you already know what direction you want to go to, right? But there's secrets. There's things that are hidden here, right? There's some definitely powerful shit here going on. And yes, I don't want to get into it. But there's definitely some some magic, right? Something hidden in a darkness here going on deep within the root here, okay? An Eight of Pentacles, right? Could involve money. Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune is behind this. Wow. Turning of events that are coming in. Six of Pentacles, wow. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to put these down for a minute here. Like I felt, whatever's coming in, there is a situation that whatever change this is that you're making, with Libra showing itself twice the scales, right? Fair and just, okay? There is an outcome of moving towards something here. Like I feel not to doubt the changes. You're in this feeling right now of an uncomfortable place when you're going through a change, a transition, a big one with all those fives, right? And whatever you're breaking free from, like I feel, nothing is yet set in stone. So up in the air during retrograde, but it's getting back to the table is what I feel that's needed here for yourself. Because there's some areas of your life that I feel you're working on yourself. Tell me what advice I can have for Virgo Collective for May 2022 in love for Virgo. I feel like this video was going on longer for some reason. Or am I not? <laughs> I don't know. It felt like longer. I guess I'm just relaxed. Yes, I'm situating my home. So home redos. This could be the one, Virgo, that you've already met, a romantic partner. So this Nine of Cups could be somebody here that you are moving towards. Like I feel there's an ending and you're releasing an X. Yes, 
there's definitely a connection here. Uh, it's time to clear your energy and release an ex. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you see. Yeah, you're moving towards somebody new here. And I feel you're letting go of a, of a partnership here where there was some kind of hidden, intimate, right, situation. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith, right? There could be trust issues that were going on now here. An area where you were married to somebody here. And there's a retreat. So I feel that for some of you, you, your wish desire is opening up to a partnership where you're about to end a love affair, okay? And move towards somebody here that you could have been in a partnership or married with. You're about to take a holiday, a trip, a vacation. And I feel the two of you will talk about this trust issue that lies here. Yeah, somebody here wants to give this relationship a chance. So for some of you, if you're in a marriage or partnership here, I feel that's what the, that's what's going to be going on. Because it's not yet set in stone. So this is a conversation from someone that you were married to in a partnership that wants to give this relationship a chance. Yeah, there's values on the table here, your love life, right? The both of you are married, you're in a commitment here. And I feel, Virgo, that's what's coming in. So it feels like there's definitely, what did I call this here? Why am I going brain dead? You know, like when you say, oh my God, assembly is required in an area of your life. And I feel it's going to be in your relationship here, sector. And I feel that definitely things will be moving forward where you're about to put work into something that you know is destined with Jupiter coming in. So a fated event is about to turn in your favor. It's going to be a win-win outcome of something that's very fair and just. So thank you, Virgo, for joining me. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.